Hey, what's up guys? In this video, let's look at how we can do a little bit of refactoring in our code base. What we have developed so far has a small problem, which is we don't have a title to our video and which makes it really difficult for us to understand the name of that video, right? These descriptions will really not make the UI look good. So I want to add a video title field to my uh, video model. So let's see our database. So as you can see, we have description, we have type and all this stuff, but I don't have a title. So we will add that first and we will see how the tests are really going to help us in this. So I'll go to migrations, create video in here. I add the title and let's see. If I run my tests right now, what is going to happen? Okay, PU is basically my shortcut for PHP unit. So I can see that four tests are failing. What are those tests? It shows unpublished videos and all those things. So let's pick up one which is the most obvious which is it creates a new video so this is not happening it says it can't assert that a video with that this url and description is present which means we have a problem so let's see <coughs> video create test what happened create video test sorry so this is the test we are looking at. Now obviously what is happening is that we have a title which is a nullable field and when we are trying to create it, it doesn't work. Fair enough. So what we can do is first of all, let's pass the title as random title. Okay. Now we are sending this. So obviously we need to accept that in the controller so video hmm, that's interesting create video what happened i'm kind of getting confused with the controller's names so video controller yes i was trying to open up that that's strange um okay so title it's not going to be sometimes it's a required field okay and because we are sending this i need to pass it to the service and the service needs to accept that as well so title post data like so okay and because i have updated the migration i might you know it's best we add that in our factory as well so title like this and now let's run the test and it's passing but only this test is passing if you see I, I will have still three failures why it's a small change which I need to make in my test um, ta -ta -ta. so this is the thing it returns video and response so I'm creating a video I need to add the title it returns an unpublished video. I need a title over here. Hmm, this URL is not required anymore. And it adds description if sent. So the description is an optional field, but the title is obviously required. And it validates required fields. It validates required fields. It's, this test will pass because right, if I do that, it will pass because I'm only checking the errors.url. However, if we realize it should also check for errors dot title because that will be one more field if I don't send the title field and hence now if I run the tests everything is passing that's where you know, the strength comes in you know, everything which you want to test or uh, rather change because it is backed by a test we will be able to immediately understand what's the problem and what all changes we need to make now obviously this is done so the api 
should be giving us that information let me do inspect element go to the network and refresh my page this is the list data do i have the title in here oh i won't because i haven't migrated the database yet so with mrs i have so which mrs is basically an alias to php artisan migrate refresh seed so it migrated the database again and it seeded it obviously my login will not work because the token was cleared up i have to ha you know, handle this exception but let's go to login okay so this is the response inside data open up a video we have the title so we can show the title let me go to visual studio code so inside dashboard we have layout and then we are you know, doing a map of this this is the description so we can do something like this okay and if i come over here i can see that the title is visible so this is a good start uh, i am quite confident uh, we can make this a lot better but yes one more quick refactor maybe we go to components we do video card index dot tsx i don't want any layout information inside the component so i will rather have this now interface props for now let's keep it any what happened oh yeah sorry export default video card okay this should solve a few problems now because i'm sending the prop i will do something like this this is purely typescript thing and the title description i will deconstruct it and then okay right it will not allow because right now it's not able to get that Yeah, I could have done video dot, but that's fine. So this is the prop which I'm sending, and in here, video card. Like this. And with this refactor, everything is looking as is, which means you know our refactor is correct. Let me see if I'm getting any console error. No, I'm not. So this is fine. And yes, I think that's that's done so basically now our database has the title field where we have you know title for our videos and we refactored our api to support that piece of functionality and our ui is now showing the titles here as well right so the next thing is i mean there are ma majorly two things which i want to complete so that you know this application becomes kind of uh, ready which is you know, the ability on the front end to submit a video okay and the second thing is obviously um, showing the video card in here with the thumbnail and then you know if i click on it it shows the detail of the video and the video player as well so yeah we will handle it uh, in the subsequent videos if you have liked this series so far 
then do hit the like button and yes don't forget to subscribe to my channel